September 7th is right around the corner, meaning Savannah residents have only a few weeks left to decide who they'll vote for in the mayoral race. And tonight is the second forum for Savannah's mayoral candidates. WSAV's Christine Quayley is live at the Coastal Georgia Center for us, where it's being held tonight with more on what they'll discuss. Thank you, Ben. Tonight is the second opportunity these candidates have to show Savannah voters why they're the right choice to lead the city. And they'll be discussing some of the biggest issues on voters' minds, like crime and the cost of living. As of now, there are two major contenders in the race, an incumbent and a current alderwoman looking to pull off an upset victory. Mayor Van Johnson, Alderwoman at Large, Keisha Gibson Carter, and Tyresha Davis will participate in the forum. In the last few weeks of campaigning, Johnson has relied heavily on his track record as mayor. You have never seen me act anything but mayor. Gibson Carter, though, says she has a new vision for the city, positioning herself as what she called, quote, an alternative to what we see in our community. To the dissenters and detractors on council, by way of my colleagues, read my lips. No new taxes. Gibson Carter has placed her focus on eliminating new taxes and keeping costs down. However, on the topic of millage rates, otherwise known as property tax rates, Johnson appeared to insinuate Gibson Carter doesn't have a handle on the issues. No, it doesn't happen like that. Um, the way that governments realize the majority of their funds are through property taxes. On crime, Johnson's highlighted his administration's efforts to tackle crime by engaging the community. We're not going to be satisfied until we have a year with zero crime in this community. Let's reconnect you in a way that makes you uh, successful. Let's connect you with your family. Let's connect you with employment. Let's connect you with housing because we know that in order for you to be successful, you need these things. Gibson Carter has cited, quote, rising crime as a major issue throughout her campaign. According to the city of Savannah, crime increased only slightly overall from 2021 to 2022. But cases of aggravated assault and aggravated assault with a gun saw larger increases at 14 and 23%. Forum is set to start in just a few minutes here at the Coastal Georgia Center. So if you're not already on your way down, you still have some time. Reporting live in Savannah, Christine Qualey, WSAV News 3, on your side. Thank you so much. And we'd like to 